conservative will get really mad at you if you lie to him. A liberal will get really, really mad at you if you tell him the truth. Process that. There's kind of a lot of information that will come right back at you and say, oh, my heavens, it's true. The Christian Heritage Party in Canada. I like them. I, I mean, they have so many good values and so many good things that they do that I'm a fan, right? They don't have anybody elected. They have no elected people, but they try and they continue on with their message and they influence people. Even if you're an atheist, you'd have a big takeaway from a lot of their material because they say a lot of stuff that is really a good way to live, all right? However, all of that said, there's one thing here, and we're allowed to disagree with certain things, right? And I just wanted to share with you, they now have an Aboriginal Affairs Department. Department, okay? And the lady, Linda Marnock, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, she, she has made some comments or some statements that I want to comment about, and that's with regard to Indians in Canada. She said one of the most important things is restitution and reconciliation among Indian people and the Canadian government. I mean, okay, but I'm of the view that someday that has to stop, right? I mean, get in a room and settle it. Here's a check. I guess we're sorry for what people did a few hundred years ago, but it's over now, and now we're all Canadian. That's my view. So I don't necessarily agree with that statement. Other issues are is the government doesn't take them seriously. In, in, there's in, uh, inequality inequity, inequality, <laughs> in education, health, child welfare, treaties, and so on. Again, deal with it. I, I think that everybody in Canada has the same opportunity. What do you do with that opportunity, whether you're an Indian or white or purple? Often people don't take advantage of those opportunities, and I think it's more of a personal thing, right? And she's really hung up on the residential school thing, and, and so many people associate that with abuse of Indian children. I know many white people who attended residential schools, and, and you know what? If it happened, and I guess it did to some level, certainly, let's get over it, right? I mean, do we have to still talk about it? Do we still have to talk and say we're sorry all of the time. I mean, come on. And then she goes on to say missing and murdered Indian women and men. You know what? Uh, we need self-government as well. And the Indian Act, blah, blah, blah. Well, first, if you have self-government, look after your own people. You have your own police forces and everything else already. What is the problem? And why are Indian people so special compared to white people and other people? If a woman is murdered, her color doesn't matter. It's a terrible, terrible thing. And I think, or I want to think, I hope this is right, that the police give the same effort. They should. If they don't, well, then they should be fired, ran off their job, and you should hire new people. You shouldn't have to make a statement about, hey, help us. You need to have a special group of people looking after this special culture or color of people who were murdered. A murderer is a murderer, and he needs to be brought to justice. It doesn't matter who he murders, a woman, a man, a child. It's a bad thing. And, and so, you know what? Uh, then she goes on to say the historic, it's, it is an historic opportunity to offer inclusion <laughs> and a bunch of other things. I, I guess you're included. You're more than included. You don't pay taxes. You really want to be included. Indian people, step up. Pay your share of taxes. You get more than your share now. What you do with it, that's up to you. I mean, we all have to kind of stand up and be counted. Venezuela. I'm jumping now from Canada to Venezuela. Venezuela is a is a uh, terrible place. I, I, they are the weather is good, the people are nice, and all of that stuff, and they have all kinds of rich resources. But it's a terrible place because of the government, because of socialism. Now, with regard to guns, the people can't even protect themselves. Right? You can't even own a slingshot, and you'll get if you own a slingshot, you get twenty years in prison. Twenty years. That's for the good guy. Twenty-eight thousand people a year, though, are murdered by bad guys. Okay, the good guys aren't allowed to protect themselves. Homicide rate is the world's becoming one of the world's highest, and there's all kinds of stats that, that just ring terrible. But but they also tell you about socialism because socialism doesn't work. It can't work. It never has worked. It never will work. And they keep on trying. The police now have become targets of the bad guys because they carry guns. So, the police are murdered daily. People are shot, shooting, pardon me, at policemen. They don't always hit them, I guess, but they're dropping like flies. And then they kill them, and then they steal their guns. <laughs> There's a whole conversation on that. Now jumping back to Canada. Last week, uh, via, via rail, via rail, you know, bought $1 billion worth of new trains. There's another 8 to $9 billion on the ticket that they're going to spend later on in 2019. That's in their budget. 
And I just found out, according to this document here, that it's actually a Crown Corporation. I wasn't aware of that. If I didn't know, I guess I must have blanked it out because I didn't want to know any more stuff like that. And what are you doing owning a bloody train? Ugh, communists, they drive me crazy. Many people ask me why there's so many rich guys who are liberal. <laughs> well, they're only rich. And they only like that part of your enterprise because you allowed it to happen. <laughs> they have your money. They're rich because of government grants. In Canada, I can name off all of the families, virtually, and all of the individuals who are really rich. And guess what? It all came from you. And, and, and sure, they're smart guys. I guess you're smart if you can figure out how to get billions from the taxpayer. But, but that's why. Hey, there's a much longer explanation with all kinds of examples. But, but take that and build from that, and, and you really got the answer. And get mad, get angry, but also get even. Not to be you may don't vote for those liberals. They're bad people. Whoever you vote for, tell them what you want. You want an even playing field, that'll be the solution, and y'all come back. See ya.